All right, it's a dozen. Match 88. A new a new era for the longest running team in the dozen. 67 matches <laughs> with two teammates. They now have three. Fran, welcome to Team Experts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy to big, be here. <laughs> big addition. A lot of drama. Uh, you did move teams. Yep. Many calling it a smart move. Some yep. people furious. <laughs> a man in my barber shop walked up to me in the middle of my haircut and said, I don't agree with the move. I think they're a super team now. <laughs> Honest to God. That was all, that's awesome. I know you know who you are. You had a British accent, I believe. Uh, but he said, love the show. So, Cheerio. Yeah. You know, I, I, I did get some comparisons to Kevin Durant. And mm -hmm. you know what? It is what it is. They won. Team experts, baby. Team the experts. Is a team flag with an X on it. Yeah. You know what, friend? Flags fly forever. That's what they say. That is what they say. Um. Also, we will. There's going to be some stuff. Stuff is in development with this show. Some new things. Spice it up a bit. Every team's going to have a logo soon. It's going to be quite the big screaming honkers logo. I don't know what Nick is going to come <laughs> up with, but it's going to be something. I'd like to contribute to that. I've I've had <laughs> ideas. <laughs> I yeah. Feel, just tell Nick. I easy as that. Uh yes, the big screaming honkers. You guys beat Brandon and PFT, just the two of them, and oh. then you won a match where it wasn't like a tournament, but I said if you win, you can play the brand new experts team, and here you are because you won that match that as well. That was an old team. That was, that was you, a pass iteration. That was basically the preseason. You guys are the number Brandon. nine ranked team. The fans love the big screaming honkers. Have you guys at number six, but the fans also a ton of faith in the experts as they had – the experts ranked number two ahead of Team Yak, who they've never beat, but I believe the three team, the three member team is what the fans uh, think is going to work out there. Tie atop the, uh, the the standings there, the rankings uh, with Team Yak and Frank and the Frankettes. And you at home can vote for the fan poll every Thursday, week two, later on this week. Also, this is an outdated graphic technically because Team Minahan is now two and one. And yesterday, Cons, Casey, and Fights lost their five and three. Brandon, any comments on the Cons versus Kirk match? <laughs> Well, I, I was able to watch that from behind the scenes. Uh, Khan's getting embarrassed by Kirk's oh. Bruce Springsteen knowledge was absolutely beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of Kirk, but I was last night when he just absolutely took Khan's to the shed. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was okay. emasculating. Yeah, it was yeah. tough. Um, Smitty, though, did say today he would like to take on Con uh, Kirk, which I actually – Smitty did get all the ones that Khan's had, so Smitty could be – When Kirk player. said, when Kirk said, can you play it again because I want to <laughs> hear – that well, I don't remember, remember the name of the song. Yeah, Cadillac Ranch. Cat, when, I just want to hear Cadillac Ranch again. That was just mm -hmm. dragging his balls across country. <laughs> yes, very in that. So this is I'm excited for this. Usually Brandon Walker matches. No offense to my good friend Brandon, are the stressful matches. Last night was very tense. You just there was a tension last night. This seems a little a little less tense, a little more fun. I've been told the board tonight is fantastic. I don't know if that means they're very hard or or easy. A lot of points on the board. That's what well, it sounds like. Yeah. Rob, I'd like to speak for Robbie. We're both here. We're both wrestling guys. We can't wait for the wrestling category. I can't yeah. wait. I'll, also, I want, to, I want to mention one thing. So Tommy Smokes has put out a rumor. Fran, we got a house divided. Apparently, we're roommates now. We got a house divided this night. You heard the rumor? <laughs> what did we do? Yeah, apparently, there's a rumor going around that you and me are roommates. I've oh, wow. Yeah, you know, yeah. certainly quiet that room. Watch out. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, you weren't supposed to tell anyone you were in the other room, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the office for transfer. I'll be honest. <laughs> it was set on the rundown today, and it seems as though the internet has bought that hook, line, and sinker. Uh, they do believe it. <laughs> that I, is incredible. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, there is no wrestling. I totally forgot, which is ironic because mm -hmm. Robbie and Brandon are in the same exact hotel in Jacksonville, Florida right now in different rooms. <laughs> Uh, so this is quite yeah, a match. Same tonight. curtains. They're, yeah, yeah. It looks like there they might go. be roommates. Yeah. Sponsored by <laughs> MovieRankings.net. Everyone say their favorite movie right now. Brandon, favorite movie? That thing you do. Okay, Robbie. The Dark Knight. Coley. Sin City. PFT. One Night in Paris. Fran. Um, The Notebook. Mints. Godfather. Okay. Mine's Ocean's Eleven. MovieRankings.net, which is going to have a four to five hundred movie edition in the Whoa. next like twenty four hours. It's been a lot wow. all manual, uh, but great website. You can find any movie where it's streaming. Our ratings. Uh, we're going to start adding one sentence reviews to everything for a little context. So that's a big thing that I decided to do. That is stupid, but I'll be <laughs> doing that. So go to MovieRankings.net. You can randomize. Uh, if you can't pick a movie, the randomizer can pick a movie for you on the stream platforms you have. Go to the website. You can also make an app uh, on an iPhone, a Safari page, and uh, make a bookmark on your homepage. That solves the problem uh, if you want an app. 
Uh, so yeah, check it out. Very cool. Thank I, you. Would, I would like to personally endorse that website. I've yeah, used great it website. Many times. I use it all the time. It's Thank never you. let me down. I do wonder though, do you go back like 10 years? I saw Boondock Saints pop up there. And Boondock Saints is one of those movies that when it came out, I was like, this is the height of cinema. I love it. And then 10 years later, I'm like, this movie's kind of trash. Do you ever go back and, and revise your reviews? Yeah, though a lot of the older stuff I'd never rated before. So it was it was quite the experience, you know, putting that that in mind. So feel free to just don't please don't DM me that you don't like my rating. DM Jeff. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. But if you go to the website, I actually don't give a shit. You can say whatever you want. As long as you visit the website, whatever. Yeah. Here we go. Don't DM Jeff. Approach him in a barber shop when he's getting a haircut. <laughs> yes. like, like a civilized person. He loves that. <laughs> that guy was that guy must have been a honkers fan. Here we go. Uh <laughs> both teams know the new lifeline, the double dip. Uh, use the double dip wisely uh, whenever you want. Don't have to use the only lifeline you have to use. You have to double before the end of the match. Here we go. First category tonight is going to be Major League Baseball. Major love League it. Baseball. We all love it, don't we, folks? We Brandon and PF, uh, excuse me, the experts, Brandon, PFT, and Fran. That's going to got to get you saying that. You will have 60 seconds on the clock. You will go first because you are the higher-ranked team. Here's your question, 60 seconds, starting now. Who were the only two MVPs in the 90s that came from teams currently in the NL East? I got one. All right. Um, I got one. Hold I on. think I think I know one as well. Which team did he play for, Brandon? I know the 1991 MVP. I was thinking I was thinking a guy that was on the Marlins. Who is it? Gary Sheffield. Did he win MVP? I don't think so, but Terry Pendleton won MVP in 1991 for the Braves. Okay. okay. All right. The Pirates are not in the East. Okay. 30 seconds. Did – did, did they ever give the MVP to Greg Maddox? All right, you got to think. No, no. Phillies, Braves, Mets, Marlins. Yes, I, I'm aware of all these teams. Nationals. Expo. 15 seconds. Expos. Um, They're not in there now. 10 seconds. To the Nationals. Brandon, get an answer on deck. Five, four, three. Two, Brandon. Terry one. Pendleton, Chipper Jones. That is correct. Oh, one to nothing. Wow. wow. That was impressive. <laughs> nice, Brandon. All right. Other side. Same thing. AL East, though. Same thing, the AL East. <clears throat> uh, okay. What, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I think Joe Carter might be one of them for the Blue Jays. Yeah, that's where my mind went, too. When they, won back, they won at 91 and 92 back to back. Actually, it was at game six in 92 when they closed out Atlanta. We only got uh, 60 seconds, Mincy. Okay. Slum dog right. mints, as always. Robbie uh, and I weren't born. Yeah. Did the Yankees? The Yankees had that big run. Say, did the Yankees they, have they, one? Yeah, but they like had like the sum of all parts. Like they yeah. didn't have like a superstar then. No, but would uh, did, Pedro, Pedro, did, Pedro, did Pedro win it in '99? That's no. Years? I don't even want to get started on that. Uh, <laughs> um, 30 seconds. Uh, was Manny Ramirez? No, he was in Cleveland. Did Mo, wait, did Mo Vaughn win one? Uh, Yankees, Red Sox. I think Mo Vaughn won one. Did Blue Jay Orioles? Did Did Brady Anderson win one with that crazy year? He had fifty bombs. I don't think so. Everyone was going crazy. That. Yeah. I think it's Mo Vaughn. Did, okay, that's fine with me. Go. Yeah, Cal Ripken Jr. Right. You have ten seconds. All right. So Carter and Mo Vaughn. That's fine. Final answer. Yeah. I think it's Brady Anderson. You think he won the year that he had fifty? Nineteen ninety six. He had fifty two home runs. I think he won it. Cal Ripken Jr. never won it. No, I don't think not. In, he won it, but not in the night. Oh, he might have won it ninety one. Chris Hoyle has never won it. Ten <laughs> seconds. I th I I don't know that Mo Vaughn won it. I think he's going to go double Orioles again. I think he's going to go Brady Anderson and Cal Ripken Jr. It would make sense if he went double O. Five. Let, right, let's right. do it. Let's do it. Final answer. Yes. You overthought that one. <laughs> Cal Ripken Jr. and Mo Vaughn. Oh, All right. Okay. Well, well, I, don't I, I thought Brady Anderson was Joe Carter won the World Series MVP, not the. MVP. Yeah. I confused that, and I, I think. Not All right, celebrity mashup. Here we go, friend. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not. No comments on these yet. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no pressure. Here we go. Yeah. Thirty <laughs> seconds on the clock. Name the two in this photo. Oh. Ooh. Um, I know the outside. I think. Yeah. The inside's not Jamel Hill. It's not. Is you that – that's not Natalie Portman, is it? 15 seconds. It, 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 there's, it's a portish nose. 
It is. I feel like we guess Natalie Portman and Scarlett Johansson every time. Every though. time. Um, th- that fellow sure has a lot of dandruff, doesn't he? Five seconds. It, uh, who is the girl? Need an answer in. Is it Kira Knightley? Five. No. Four. I don't think so. Well, to make that up. Three. It's, it's, I, I don't know who the girl I'm is. Not, so I'm not, not, not going to give. I'm not going to give my answer because I don't want to give them the answer. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the outside is either like an old Val Kilmer or Kurt Russell. I think it's Kurt Russell. Okay, and I think the inside is either that uh, I don't know uh, Aaron Rodgers, fiance Shanane Woodley, or something, mm-hmm. or uh, Black Widow's sister, Chloe Grace Martez, whatever. No, it's not her. I like Five, the first one though, Shailene Woodley and uh, Kurt Russell. Is that what you said? Sure. Yeah, that's there's no it. way. There's no way that Shailene. Woo! It was Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, when Bob said that, I I was like, "Fuck, that's definitely it." That's on me, Bob. Hand up. Other side. Damn. Other side. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually the best. These are like the two most attractive looking ones combinations. That's really good. I think that's the same woman. I think I know the man, but I don't think I know the woman. Is that Penelope Cruz? Mm, I don't hate that. Have we gotten her before? No, I, I think like we've we... said her. I think we've said her name before, and it wasn't her. Uh, damn! And is that Robert Redford? See, now I think that might be Portman. You got fucking Portman. Oh, on that's not. No, that's not Portman. No, I, I know can tell it's you that's not. not Portman. All right, need an answer soon. In. All right, so Penelope Five. Cruz, and what's the... I think Robert, the man is Robert Redford. Robert Redford and Penelope Cruz? Yeah. 15 I think, seconds. I think Redford. the man's Robert Redford. You okay, can see the, like woman, the, the woman is Alicia Vikander. I was Not about to say that. Um, yeah. I'm person. pretty sure. Jeff, can we zoom in one more time? Nope. Five. <laughs> All right. Four. Lock, lock it in. Okay, lock it in. Fran, you want to say her name again? Alicia Vikander. And Robert, Robert Redford. That is correct. The oh, signing yeah. pays off. That's the first. That's the first, <laughs> that's the first bucket through the hoop for Fran. All right, here we go. One to one. That College also might be the ball. first time we've ever uh, gotten the same match. Yeah, it's two nothing. Wrong point. Oh, 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 yep. oh. Look at that. That's a man of integrity. That's a one integrity point for for Coley. <laughs> one integrity point for Coley. College basketball is the next category. Early yeah. tonight. Thirty seconds on the clock. The last time a 12 seed from the Big East Conference made the Sweet 16 was in 2008. Name the school for the Was experts. that – let's see, 2008. That mm, that wasn't the year that Georgetown did it, right? It It is, but I don't know if they were a 12 seed. They were higher than that. Yeah. Were they? What about um, – what about – the final four that year, I think. Maybe yeah. Marquette? No, Marquette was earlier, I think, unless they went again. Yeah, this is Sweet 16, though. I mean, these teams have made several Sweet 16. 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. They made the 2003 Final Four, but. I'm going to defer to Brandon. I'm going to give you final answer. I'm going to defer to Fran. <laughs> Five. Need a team in four. It's not Georgetown. I would, I would go with Marquette or something Marquette. like that. Like... Marquette. I don't know. 15 seconds, other side. Oh, shit. Is it? So this this is a team, a team in the current Big East or the old school Big East? It would have been a team in 2008 that was in the Big East. They could be now. They could not be. Yeah, okay. So it's the old school Big East. Okay. Yep. Need an answer soon, though. I think I know, Brandon. I mean, I, I feel like guessing Syracuse can't be horrible. Five. That's what I was thinking, too. Let's go Syracuse. Big orange. Brandon, who did you think it might have been? I think it might be Seton Hall. Nope. Bill Nova. No, 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 no. Oh, I wouldn't. I yeah, you don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know know no, no one. No Jake Marsh there for Brandon and PFT. Completely forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jake. I actually know. We got Fran here. I, 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 well, you, you, Jake is busy right now. Jake's watching college basketball currently as we speak. Also, oh, we'll, we'll see. We got Jake's best friend on our. Yeah, you have. Yeah. You have Ben. Ben Mintz is Jake's best friend. In the whole he also world. that was kind of a swindle, Jeff, by by putting this so early because this is a, a question we absolutely would. So I should. Jake I should. On if it was I should put nine. College no, basketball just, later you just, for your you, sake. You switch things up a little bit. <laughs> honest. That's. That's your prerogative. You're the other coach. side. The last time, a the last two times, a 12 seed made the Sweet 16. It was the same Pac-12 school. Name the school. 
Same exact school did it the last two times a 12 seed made the Sweet 16. Who was it? Is this like a Washington? Last two times a 12 seed made the Sweet 16. It's the same last two times a 12 seed. I mean, it's, it's an let's Oregon. Let's not let them steal this. If we don't know I, it, let, let's hit hit up Jake or I use the double dip. I, we I should did. know that. I mean, I can't believe it. who made the Sweet 16 in my team. Uh, was it Oregon? Uh, I don't hate Oregon. Yeah, I don't hate that either. I'm just trying to – it's not USC, right? No. Okay. Definitely not. Do you want a double dip? Five. Mm. Four. I'd rather just go with Oregon. Final right. answer? Yeah. Or Well, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Yep. That is correct. Oh. Like I said, Oregon. boy. <laughs> Kyle Bauer went to uh, Las Vegas with our boss, Dave Portnoy, because of Oregon. In oh, yeah. <laughs> fun fact. That was a fun weekend for everybody. If they had lost, <laughs> I would have gone. There you go. Uh, here we go. Next category is music. Music. Jeff D. Blow. You're going to get an instrumental. <laughs> You're going to get an instrumental. This is for the experts. 20 seconds. Please do not shout the answer during the song because I can't hear you. Okay. Here we go. This is actually an artist. Ignore the graphic. It's an artist from 2013. Artist from 2013. All right, so that's that's the burn burn song. And they gotta let it burn burn burn. And they gotta let it burn burn burn. I think it's Ellie Golding. Sounds good to me, Brandon. Do either of you have any suggestions? <laughs> I no. It's the burn song, right, friend? Yes. Does we got the fire fire fire? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I let it burn 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 right. burn. Ellie Golding, final answer, Jeff. <laughs> like, we can just keep singing. That's uh, That's yeah, that is correct. Ellie Golding, burn, three to one. Up, friend. Other side, you're going to have a band from 2015. 2015 song, Band. I do not know this. Did not recognize that song in the slightest. No, I I knew the Ellie Goulding one, which hurts. Uh, Bands in 2015, Imagine Dragons, yeah, 21 that's Pilots. Was Imagine Dragons. Um, Would he put Imagine Dragons knowing PFT was on this episode? Yeah, Jeff gets Jeff gets weird with those sometimes. I don't think <laughs> it is Imagine Dragons because, I, I, I mean. Ten seconds. I don't know, but they were obviously a, a band in 2015. Confirmed. Yeah, I don't know who else it would be, so I'm going to go Imagine Dragons. All right. My thought was uh, I just went straight to bands that Jeff would use, and in that pile of bands is 21 Pilots. 30 Seconds to Mars is in there. Uh, Maroon 5 this is, is like also – Jeff Lowe now. No, I'm saying these are the bands that Jeff <laughs> likes to use on people. So I, I hate, didn't. I didn't recognize it at all. But uh, I don't hate like like a Twenty One Pilots or something like that. Let's go Twenty One Pilots. Final answer. Didn't go popular enough. Biggest band in the world, Twenty Fifteen, would be One Direction. Wow. Oh my Category. god. I NBA. should have known that. I got that. NBA. Y'all are all dead if Jeff ever adds jam band categories, but still got more stuff on this stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to go back and forth from old to new on music. So I mean, music. we have a we have a wrestling category. How about a third wave ska category? No wrestling. We no don't wrestling have wrestling. Game, right? Take it away. <laughs> Someone forgot I'll to do it. Mop the floor. Uh, Someone. NBA. NBA. Thirty seconds in the clock. Brandon and PFT. Since 2008, Ka- and I, I got I got to get used to it. Kevin Durant, <laughs> ooh, Kevin, uh, James Harden, LeBron James, and this former Houston guard in 2010 and 2011 have led the NBA in free throws. Only four people did. The fourth was a Houston guard, and he did former it Houston in 2010, guard. 2011, Houston 30 seconds. Guard. Who would be a former Houston guard? PJ Tucker. <laughs> Need an answer in five. Oh, I have no four. idea. Three, Brandon. Way too late to be Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Uh, I, 
I, I want to, guys, I want to, I'm thinking Chris Paul might be a good guess because his longevity and he not was, in 2010, though. The oh, only, no, it was in 2010 and 11. The okay. only guard I can think of from that would be Kevin Martin. Need an answer soon. 2010 and 11. Eric Gordon wasn't on there. No, I'm going to Kevin Martin, Jeff. Final answer. That's it. That is correct. Right. Three to two. Hey, Kevin Martin. Could tie job. it up. Could tie it up. It's actually Kevin Martin. Three <laughs> players have led the NBA in three point attempts since 2011. Steph Curry, James Harden, and this Orlando forward did it in 2011, 2012. Rashard Lewis. Yeah, for sure. Rashard Lewis. For sure. Well, let's think. We got some time, so let's talk about it before we just do that. That's, that's what I strongly lean. For sure. Me too. You guys want to check in with me on this sure. one? <laughs> they didn't have, like, it's not like Ryan Anderson, right? He wouldn't yeah, have taken enough. They gave Lewis all that money, and he jacked up a lot of threes. Oh, he sure did. Yeah, we're going to go with Rashad Lewis, Jeff. Oh, man. I was uh, certain that was it. I, they were so confident, I wasn't even thinking about anything else. It's not. He do Turkaloo, is it? I, I I don't think so. He didn't shoot that many threes. I, I think it could have been Ryan Anderson. I'm going to – Five. <laughs> if it's fucking Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson. Anderson. Okay, let's go Ryan Anderson. That is yeah. correct. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Why did I say anything? I just <laughs> Leon, on. Yeah. Was, yeah. was he? I was you never would have said Ryan Anderson. Was mm -hmm. Lewis in the heat? At I that liked point? Coley saying, "Like, let's talk this out before we lock in the <laughs> yeah. answer." Yeah, you know what? Not many I, people do that after fights last night with the Scorpion King. Oh my God, Feidelberg! What that you, was had never been great. so confident. Now, Jeff, you just trapped him last night. That was classic. Up the most <laughs> my bad, Coley. We should no, no, that was, I, I wouldn't have gotten that. I mean, I remember him in New Orleans, but. Movies, anyone want to double? I want to we kill don't. myself. Don't say <laughs> that. Go. For the experts, Brandon, I almost said Fran FT, PFT and Fran. <laughs> it's 87 of these. It's three Fran, Fran and Walker, PFT. Yeah. No double. You're going to see three movies from one actor. Tell me the name of the movies. This is 60 seconds on the clock. These are Seth Rogen movies. Okay. Give me three movies of Seth Rogen. Um, oh, hmm. Someone tells me Judd Apatow might have been involved in these. <laughs> I watched the one on the left. I've watched it so many times. The uh, is he's, I think I know the one on the right, and I know the one in the middle. That's not Zach and Mary. I hate Joseph. Joseph <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you do to you? I just. I just have a thing against him. I don't know. I don't All right. Gordon Levitt. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I 10 don't seconds. Know. You're going to guess. You also have your lifeline. So your call. They're all knocked up. Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fair. Knocked up, knocked up, and knocked up. Do we want to use a lifeline? Five, four. You want to call no. Jack? No. No. Okay. no. 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 Abstain. We abstain. Coley, do you know the Sandler one? It's like the comedian. It's funny it's, people. Is that funny, funny people? people? Yeah, it's funny people. All right, then it's the long shot 50 50 of funny people. Fucking A. There you go, Bob. Final answer? Yep. Yes. That is correct. Big point, Bob. Wow. Oh, long shot. I finally, thought the long shot was the up press here. secretary. I wasn't even close. The long shot's a great I, movie. She is underrated. The, she is no the president, case. right? Or the vice president. Or, I think she's yes. running and he's the speech writer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kept thinking, literally all my brain was thinking was the president, not the name of the movie. <laughs> the press secretary. Here we go. <laughs> Other side. It's four to three. Name these Jonah Hill movies. That'd be... Um, do you know the one... Oh, I actually know this. It's War Dogs, Get Him to the Greek, and The Babysitter. Bang. Yep. Tie it up, Jeff. What? Okay. Definitely uh, get into the Greek, right? Okay. So yes, get into the Greek. Is it War? It's definitely War Dogs. It's not war Dogs. 100%. It's the get last him. one. It's not that the Babysitter? Did he do an Adventures in Babysitting remake? Right, that's where I'm like, is it like Bad Babysitter? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. The Sitter? The Sitter. Maybe Ooh. The Sitter? I, is, that, is that a rock movie? Because that... That's I our like, ass. It's used for sitting. I like the sitter. Okay. And we're sure it's war dogs, right? It's not war pigs. You didn't answer. 100% war dogs. Five. Okay. All right. Let's go war dogs, get them to the Greek, and the sitter. That is correct. It's the sitter. <laughs> it's unfortunately, I'm sorry, Robbie. It's too far off. Had the. Oh, wow. I couldn't take it. 
I did that. <laughs> Bonus round that time, five brutal. to three. Friend, I- get used to this. Get used to Brandon <laughs> taking credit for everything. It did sound good. Yeah. Die to make the donut. All right, it's the bonus round. Both teams actually are aware of the theme tonight, and they were told it was a one sport question. Sports video games. I'm going to be strict on the buzzer. Brandon, the last thing you say will be your answer. Coley, last thing you say will be yours. Okay. Ten seconds per round. Team with the most after five gets two points. Okay. Here we go. Name the last, name the 24 FBS schools for the Madden cover Ooh. athletes since 1999. Okay, uh, Alabama. Alabama. I got one, Brandon. Michigan. Go. I got another one, Mez. Okay. U- USC. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> Texas Tech. Five. <laughs> Which one you want, Brandon? Texas Tech. Louisville. Oklahoma State. Texas. Arkansas. Damn, that was the one I was waiting on. Hold on. Hold on, because I just had one. Uh, Arizona. I got another one. Ohio State. All right, need this one to go to overtime. Pitt. And that's obviously... Overtime, one second. Let me clear the board here. We are going to overtime. I'm not even going to say anything because Brandon is a prick. (laughs) Stanford. Virginia Tech. God damn it, Cole. San Diego State. I'm trying to think back. Where did oh? Five, did someone say USC? Four, three. No, USC. Fuck you, Brandon. You piece of right. shit. Now we're fucked. No, fuck you, University of Miami. Fuck you, Brandon. Miami. So was Vic. Where did uh, Drew Brees go? He was on the cover in twenty eleven. Oh, Purdue. You. Purdue. Thank Probably you, Fox. I owned that one. <laughs> I should have known that. I got another one if they missed. Fuck. I got one. I got one too. If you guys need one, say it. Say it. Say it. Oh wait, wait. Syracuse. Fuck. That was yours. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> I just fucking had Stanford. Oh no, we already said Stanford. Fuck. Uh, is TC? Did Ladanian Tomlinson ever was on around the cover? Uh, yeah. TCU. Four. Fuck. Oh, seven to three. Brutal. That one hurt. Favre was on the cover. I should have just said, where did Favre go? I couldn't remember. Uh, Central Michigan, Georgia Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, LSU, Northwestern, the Spanish edition that would have counted. Oklahoma, Southern Miss, Central Florida. Can I get time out? Yes. I got to bring my team together. PFTI, I apologize. You have to bring it. Okay. I I apologize. I I also had like three more of these on the board, and I didn't say anything because that's unacceptable behavior, Brandon. Like just I taking my very fucking board. I also, I also kind of carried us, oh. but that's central. Yeah, because yeah. I shut because my answers apparently weren't good enough for your brain. I didn't remember Polamalu. I thought Reggie Bush. I knew he wasn't on there. I, yeah. did, I didn't say Reggie Bush. I said College USC football. because it was Larry Fitzgerald and Troy Polamalu on the same cover together. You're winning seven to three right now. College football is the next we? category. Do you want to boys, double? Boys, boys, Mince boys. Everybody Brandon. take a breath. <laughs> How you feel, man? Feel good. I, I think we should double on this one. Yeah, double. Do you want to double, Mincy? I, I'm not gonna say no. Brandon, you good. got this, Mince. I, I, All I, our confidence I, I, in you I, right I, now. I, you I, got I, this. I, okay. I do respect Brandon. All right, you're gonna double it, Brandon. Are you gonna double? Double off. Okay, they're gonna double. Both teams will double. This is for the experts. Up seven to three. Thirty seconds on the clock. This 2000 to 2020 era SEC quarterback is the only one at the position in the conference to rush for 200 yards and pass for 200 yards in a game. Brandon, I think I know who it is. You think it's Johnny? I was gonna say Swag. You think it's Cam? I was gonna say maybe Swag, swag Kelly. Kelly. Swag Kelly. 
I think he had like two games where he went the fuck off. For two points, very big. You also only have 20 seconds left. Would he would he give us Cam? I don't know. Forget man. I said anything. Forget I said anything. Have one where he ran for I I'd swag hate is wrong. I'd hate to be wrong with Swag Kelly. I know, so not, but, <laughs> but I swag is, answer Brandon. Swag's kind Cam. of a heat check, so don't use don't use Swag Aye, unless Brandon. you love it. Brandon, it's on you. Cam Newton. I. Right. You want to steal one of their answers? Fifteen seconds. Yeah, I'm debate. I'm debating Tim Tebow or Manziel. That, he can't say Manziel like that. I was <laughs> yeah, that was not a shocking yeah, to me. It sounded like a type yeah. of apple. All right, I uh, do need an answer in five. Manziel. Final answer? Yeah. yeah. That is correct. Johnny Manziel, seven to five. Here we go, Mintz. Huge. Double dip. A tie. I forgot about the double dip. I by the way, <laughs> you can't double dip on a on a you can't double dip on a double. That's fair. Okay. All right. You can't combine. Yeah. Yeah, but even if you did double dip, you probably would have there, forced to say Swag Kelly. This I will I say Swag so. Kelly. How did you say Swag Kelly? <laughs> that threw Brandon off. Yeah. I've never seen Brandon so thrown off by an answer. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what, he never ran for 200 yards. That that's what no, Swag shit. does. He gets in your head. He <laughs> beat Alabama. Shit. Yeah, oh yeah, I was there. And and if you want to get into the head of the host, <laughs> I am still distraught over giving Ben a, a Ole Miss question last week. There was no chance like the first one was going to be – Swag, yeah, Kelly. you're right. Yeah, we should have read into that. Other side, here we go. SEC, this 2000 to 2020, ugh, fucking a lot of typos tonight. Era SEC quarterback is the only one at the position in the conference to throw for 3,000 yards in four straight seasons. Four years. This is where two points in the tie. You miss it though. Brian's doing the hair pull. I'm not sure he knows it. Played forever. Is it? I, I don't snap know it. Is it like Murray? It's not like Leak or something, right? No. Um. I, I get my brain fucking fried on this. I, I, don't, I can't believe I don't know this. You need an answer, Coley. Do you want to go Murray, Georgia? Sure. Yeah, go. go Murray. Full, just full Aaron, it's Aaron Murray, right? Yeah. Yeah, and Aaron it's also Murray. a tie ball game. It's Aaron Murray. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Good call. I know he started for a little bit. What a swing. What a swing. Oh, Way Coley's to go, out my dog. You. What a teammate. Brandon is just <laughs> swag. <laughs> swag. Did you, know, Brandon, did you know Aaron Murray? <laughs> yeah, why do you think I turned around? <laughs> so game we're tied I up you have the same you. lifelines you phone a friend and double dip each next category can I just, is can I just have another can i have a quick 20 yeah i'll allow that after that you can have a timeout yeah see we had a timeout to discuss this and you just what why did you what we had a timeout to discuss what to discuss our team and then and you just did that <laughs> oh no what said the word swag kelly yeah why would you say swag kelly because he's awesome <laughs> Fact. johnny Manziel's awesome uh, Man, I don't think either of those buddy. people like Cam's awesome. You went with the best answer <laughs> from from him saying swag to Ben saying Manziel initially. It's <laughs> what, what a round. <laughs> all right, I I think we should listen to Fran Brandon and we should all take a deep breath together. Yeah. All right. Next category is television. Television. All right. We want a double for the experts. No doubles left. Netflix debuted a baking competition in 2018 hosted by Nicole Byer where bad bakers try and make glamorous desserts. That's not really a question. Comedian no. Uh, this show. What is the show? Name of the show. Netflix baking show. Netflix is, is roasted, it, Jeff. Is it like the the world's American worst? American baking? It is. It's like. The world's worst cooks? Literally worst. It's. Uh, is it America's worst? No. No. Netflix to be the baking I can't believe we got a third teammate and I, I gave up college Five. football. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. World's worst bakers. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to guess the baker's dozen. Oh, see, I don't know. It, it would be that. something. I thought someone might know it. Big show on Netflix. Nailed it. <laughs> Other side. This history show debuted in 2010 featuring Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz traveling around buying antiques and collecting. This is uh, – fuck, see, I don't know the actual name of the show, but I sort of do. It's like the Antique Roadshow. It's literally called that. Unless it – Unless it was a reboot. Was it a reboot? It could be a reboot. That's just the only thing that came to mind. See, I don't know the actual show itself. I just know the name. I feel like PFT knows this. PFT yeah, has no weirdo. tells in this game, I will say that. Brandon has plenty of tells. Fuck you. Well, PFT the, wears the sunglasses. It's like poker. <laughs> Five. I'm cool with antique, the antique road show. 
right? Yeah, the anti yeah, yeah. Like, I I don't know. Treasure, Hunter, Treasure, Treasure Hunters. Hunters. Treasure Hunters is what I thought too. Yeah. So if that's where your mind went, then my mind doesn't have far to go, though. I mean, I know. Go for it, because I thought Antique Roadshow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But it's always right. That, that dates back well. That was like yeah. a PBS show too. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's go with Treasure Hunters. I don't misjudge a lot of things on this show. I thought that'd be a double sweep. I thought both teams would go. That's American Pickers. That's American Pickers. I, yeah. yeah, neither literally of them never yeah. heard of that. So. I've, I'm, sometimes I've heard of American Pickers. Things. Well, was a good I've heard of that. Show. You thought you thought really PFT would actually? Shows? I thought PFT would for sure potentially know that as well. I, I've heard of it. I probably okay. should have been able to guess it, but I've never seven, seen it. Seven, no blood. Next category is geography. Geography. All right. This is why we got you, Fran. Yeah. This is my this is my good good. What is the least populous state that borders the Atlantic Ocean? Okay. okay. That would be Okay. Well, Rhode Island Ma- smallest. Maine, Maine, maybe? Well, oh, I think you I think you might be right. It's well Coley just moved from Maine, right? Just a bunch no. of assholes. It's just Coley. Mm-hmm. Um and right, this is Florida, South Carolina. North Carolina. You don't have to name all. No. He said Florida, Delaware. It's gotta be like Delaware. I'm just going up the coast. The only one I can think of would be Maine because every other state has at least like a city. Delaware or Maine, I believe. Wilmington's pretty big, so let's go with Maine, Jeff. We're Final go with answer. Maine, Final answer. Yeah. First of all, rude. Uh, I immediately went to Delaware. Rhode Island's interesting. Let's Rhode go. Island worries me that it seems like the obvious one, and maybe Jeff is trying to pull an old fuckaroo on us. These are all written by Kyle Bauer tonight, by the way. So. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah. that that makes yeah. it even worse, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go Delaware. Final answer? Yep. That is correct. You have the lead, eight to seven. That a boy, Five Coley. What's showing out of you? There we go. Other side. You can take a two-point lead. What is the most populous state that does not border an ocean? I mean, uh, I, I mean, immediately coming to my head is Illinois. Yeah, that's where I went to. Yeah. I Illinois. I don't hate Illinois. Is there something in like the southeast or southwest though that like Nevada or? No. Uh, I don't think Nevada. There's so much desert so, in Nevada. So big. I mean, Georgia, Georgia's big, but Georgia's on. Georgia touches an ocean, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. No, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I'm good with Illinois. Illinois, final answer. Ohio, Texas. Pennsylvania, Texas. 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 No, it, it, he's Texas, gonna, it borders it, an ocean. It's, it's the Gulf. Is that technically the ocean? The Gulf of Mexico. Oh, that's going to kill me if that counts. Oh, man. That, I don't know if I, this is I figured trick. that didn't count. That does not border. It's the there's Gulf. water. I just thought water, yeah, so it's right. not qualified. Is it, it says is ocean. Is it that much of a trick question? This, guys. Is it that Five much of a trick question? Four. I guess Ohio, right? Would that be... What do you guys want to do? Brandon. Ohio. It's Pennsylvania. Oh. oh all right. Pennsylvania. <laughs> I love when, when KB writes geography questions. I have no concerns. It's beautiful. I just. But it's the Gulf of Mexico. It's, it's not an ocean. It's, I mean, it's technically. Again, ocean. take it up with the smartest yeah. geography person I've ever met in my life. If you want to talk to Kyle Bauer, you can. I will trust you. I will him. talk to Kyle Bauer. Okay. <laughs> we'll have a little sit down. <laughs> Here we go, eight to Where seven. Touch water? I don't understand Pennsylvania at all. <laughs> so big. Next category. Next category is the NFL. Ooh. Triple. <laughs> Brandon and uh, PFT and Fran. Here we go. You have sixty seconds on the clock. You're going to see three faces. Swag Kelly. <laughs> Name the team that each of these players is on. They're all in the same conference. Okay. Or excuse me, the same division. Same division. Uh, what? What's what's the answer we're looking for here? Yeah, three teams. Each of these people are on. Okay, I can we get one. Can we start at one? I think he's a linebacker. Just got to note that the Gulf of Mexico is considered a marginal sea of the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Okay. A marginal C. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's focus here. Yeah. That's what got us on the last one. They were talking too much. We so, I mean, I, I don't know. Are they all on one team? No, they're all on three teams in one division. Oh, three teams in one division. I, I don't know if I should say the team that I think the guy on the middle is. You in. are coming out of time here, my friend. Just get, so that – guess who we can at least give three teams. We'll go with the same – someone in the – we'll just pick three teams in that division. The middle might be – I. 
I think he's the uh, the kid from the Washington football team, the linebacker. I might be wrong, though. Okay, so you're going to have to give me three teams very All right. Soon. So just He's not going to do Eagles because Fran's here. Well, he does Washington because you're here. I don't know. Brandon, I need Washington, three teams just, in five. Washington, Four. Dallas, New York. Yeah, okay. yeah, those are the three teams. That would have crushed nope. me if that was correct. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought Lions, Vikings, and um, like Bears. Bears, Vikings, Lions in that order specifically. I'm not going to object. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got your final answer? Yeah. You were real fucking close. That's David Montgomery, Robert Tanyan, and Justin Jefferson. That's Bears, oh, Packers. Oh, Mike. that hurts. So close. Very close. close. I knew. Who did you pick out? Montgomery. Okay. Fuck. Yep. There All right, you go. practice for all. Oh, us. tough. To take a nine to seven lead. It really makes you think that you don't actually know what any of that these guys look like. Yeah, that helmet is a problem. Yeah, geez. So... Is my computer frozen? No. no they're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> they're thinking. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. So I it's it, <clears throat> <laughs> I also can't remember all the teams in one division. Oh, okay, now I remember. All right. Um You now have Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. Final answer. Fine. Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. Yep. Which ones are you most sure about? So I don't know. It, Chiefs, it, Chiefs, Chargers, and then maybe not Raiders. Broncos. May, I was thinking Austin, the guy, the Austin guy on the right Eck might be Minka Fitzpatrick. Am I way off on that? That's not Minka Fitzpatrick. Okay. Austin Eckler's in the middle now. Probably. Or was that? Is that McCall Hardman? Chiefs charge. I feel like it's Chiefs, Chargers, and and Bronco. Oh, Bronco. is that? Oh, is that uh, uh Philip Lindsay on the right? Yeah. Chiefs, Without Chargers, his, Broncos. Yeah, let's go with that. Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos. What? Josh Jacobs, Chargers, Austin Eckler, and Justin Simmons. Traders, Chargers. Oh Broncos. my god. <laughs> that was. Fun. I didn't see I like it. I like that a lot. After I was wrong. Fuck. Raiders, Here we go. Chargers, Next category. Broncos. Snacks and candy, snacks and candy. All right, this is fun. All right, this is what we got you for, Frank. You can also use a phone a friend and your double dip on the same category. So you're okay. allowed to do that. So I'm not, you're not required to use one right now. Okay. You're going to see a logo. We're going to make this a little interesting. That was tough, right? That was pretty hard. Well, this next yeah. one, you're going to get an or. You can either give me the product or the company. Okay. Ooh. And I'll take either one for the point. We're gonna eat. This is this is okay. like me giving you a little bit of a freebie here. Maybe. Would you take the babysitter or the sitter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry. Here that we go. Hurt. Thirty seconds on the clock. Product name or company? Is that Wonder Bread or is that uh, Bimbo? Blank oh, logo. Candy Bimbo. brand. Candy Jeff, brand. can I ask a question? I did throw that up very quickly. That's why I needed to read the question again. Can I ask a question, Jeff? Sure. Did Nick Terraney write this or help with this? Uh, Nick is aware of the answers on this question. God damn it. Okay. Uh, is that is that Blow Pop? Oh. I think that might be Blow I Pop. I like that. And I need an answer in. Five. I like that. Let's I think go, that's Blow Pop. Let's blow go pop. Blow, blow Pop, Jeff. You're tied up yeah. eight to eight. Way to go, PFT. I was going to ask if, if you didn't get it. I was going to ask, could I get double points for saying both? <laughs> charms. All right, Five you need charms. just one need charms, here. Yeah. For the one point leader, we go into round twelve, tied up. Here we go. Uh, that's the uh, is that Lind Lindorf Lindor Lindor chocolates. Yeah, it, but is it Lindor? Because I I don't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. is it Lindor? Is it Lindorf? Is it the sitter? Is it the babysitter? What the fuck <laughs> is the name of the chocolate? Ferrer Rocher, like those chocolate orb balls. I thought that's what. What right, I said. Coley, I need either product <laughs> or chocolates. 
Chocolate they have like the chocolate product. inside of them. It's like softer inside. Can uh, we get like a quadruple dip, Jeff? Oh wait, I... wait. Can we, can we use our double dip and dip both dip? of the things we guessed? Let's yeah. Let's, Let's do just that. be safe Let's and do it. Dip, and we're gonna go Lindor and for Ferrero. You know, I need one off the top. What's your first one? Lindor. Lindor. Dramatic effect. That's Lint Lindor. That is correct. Nine to eight. You oh, have I'll a win. one point right. lead. Going into the final round. So does that count as them using their double dip? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. So you now have your phone a friend. friend. Other side, you have your phone a friend and your double dip, and right. you need at least a point here, maybe more. Uniform scramble is the next category. Okay. Ooh. I have labeled them tonight to make these a little easier. So there's going to be a label. You will be told if it's a current jersey, an older one out of use, a throwback, or an alternate. Four team, uh, four sports are represented here, all of them individually. Four letter word. The experts, you're down one. Here you go. Four teams that make this. All right. All right. Uh, I think that's the Orioles on the end. Okay. Uh, the T looks is that like. Toronto Raptors at the beginning. Is that the O from Raptors? Yeah, or like We the North. And the C is the alternate for. Is that the Titans T? Yeah, I think so. Or is that green? I can't really tell with my glasses. Is that is that green or blue? That's blue. Okay, what? so that's the Titans T. Is the Titans T? Um, okay, I think those. I think that's Raptors, hockey, Seattle, and Orioles. Okay, so the C. In hockey would be Canucks, maybe? I will need an answer very soon. Brandon, PFT, your friend. Someone's got to say it in. We're going to go Raptors? You want to try and double dip or no? Because this is our last uh, Calgary. game. Calgary. 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 Okay, you're going to double dip. What's one? your first guess? Right. Double dip just to do it. Okay, We're going to so go Raptors. Are you saying Calgary? Calgary. Seattle. Orioles. You need to give me an answer in five seconds. Your second right. seconds off them. Raptors, Should we go Titans? Yeah. Canucks, Titans, Orioles. You switch. For the uh, win. Is that <clears throat> the, uh Atlanta football? First one, maybe. But the first one's baseball. The second one's the Chicago Bulls. The last one I want to say is either Edmonton or the Islanders. I kind of like the Islanders. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their alternates look like. I, I don't. Them or Edmonton. It's I not Edmonton because Edmonton's using the Navy Blues as home jerseys this year. I, I don't know if he double Chicago us, but I think that's the White Sox. Yeah, White Sox, Bulls. You want to go Titans or Atlanta? I need an answer, Coley. Two. White Sox, Bulls, Atlanta, and the Islanders. Close. Correct answer. Uh, no, maybe not. Correct answer is Blackhawks, Bulls, Texans, Astros. Oh, wow. Texans. Other zero. side. Here you go. Here's no, Houston. We got zero. Jeez. The screaming honkers. If you get this, you win the game. If you miss it, the experts have 30 seconds to tie the game and send it to overtime. Oh, wow. All right. Sly, oh. sly, sly. Oh. All right. We got the Browns. That's about all I know off this. I know the C is the Browns. What what could that I be? The Pirates, the Steelers, the obviously not the Steelers. The what's the is that the Pirates? What's the one? All the is that Ottawa on the right? Ottawa, what Senators? No. What a strange O. That that that's O the White is Sox. that's the White Sox, and that's the oh, Pirates. you're right. So you want to go Browns, Penguins, Utah Jazz, um, and what did I just say? White Sox. Did you say Penguins for the second one? Yeah. I don't hate that. So Browns, Penguins, Jazz, White Sox. Final answer. And Mince, do you have anything else? Um, I don't. Bang it, Jeff. Three in a row. You've won the game. Yeah. That is correct. Browns, Penguins, Jazz, White Sox, 10 to 8, final score. Coley, you're the man, dude. I, that I, felt I, good. What a showing out of you, Coley. What a, what a showing. Brandon, so, Brandon, Brandon, look at me. Brandon. This game was 7 to 3. 
And Brandon Walker opened up the college football question by correctly saying it's Johnny Manziel. <laughs> PFT then said, is it Swag Kelly? Swag and Kelly game. The Honkers <laughs> immediately went on a 7-1 to one run. In the curse. Last game against them, we had a huge comeback when it was just Brandon PFT. We were down. <sighs> it's the curse of Swag Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that in 2010, uh, the, the Heat lost the first game of the LeBron James era. <laughs> they were and terrible for a while. They would go on to win multiple championships. I actually, I truly but not that, that first this is, year. This is the best thing that could have happened to our team because now guess what? We don't have all the pressure of super team this, super team that. We realize that it's a long season and it, it doesn't just happen overnight. So it's good that we lost up front. Now we can move forward. Now we don't have to worry about having a perfect season from here on out. Chuck so, it up however many ways job. you want. By the way, Nate, yeah. all, this team's going to go undefeated forever. What about that win? No, don't Pretty worry about it. Good. Don't worry about it. Don't need that. No, I will say, row, baby. The, scream, the big screaming honkers are on the rise. Let's I go. will. Oh I think God. the fans will probably vote the big screaming honkers top four this week. That'd be my guess. I you mean, look, the, the computers, like the team in front of us, lost like directly in front of us, and we just blew these guys out of the fucking part water. of the problem. Half their the points came from our you, right you, end. You, you I mean, the computers. If someone wants thirty-seven works, and thirty, we're behind one and one. one if someone wants to write an algorithm that can factor in strength of schedule, be my guest. Uh, that's definitely <laughs> going to make it harder. However, I will say, PFT had a bunch of answers. Fran had some answers. Brandon had some answers. Combined up, it all came down to one thing. You can chalk it up and refer to yourself as a heat all you want. But if, if Johnny Menzel is the answer, you win the game. Like, it, it's... I mean, I'd also, I'd also like to point out that, that Brandon yeah, didn't that. answer Johnny Menzel. He answered Cam Newton. That's a good point, PFT. The curse of Swag Kelly. I mean, we do have to like bury a picture. And of also, Swag Kelly. Swag we have to bury Kelly. a vacuum I don't, cleaner. We got a redemption tour. We yeah, got to don't pull we, Aaron Murray from the clouds. Brandon yeah. gets that, and we lose too. We have to, Brandon. What we have to do, uh, and friend, we have to take a vacuum cleaner and bury the suction hose outside the office and yeah. get rid of the curse of Swag. Good start. You guys don't want to play the oh, punk again. We'll only we'll only get better. Look, we got you know a team, team chemistry. It's game one. We'll get better. We have to work on our conditioning. We came yeah. out we came out the gate real strong, and then we kind of we yeah, lost fourth our fourth quarter. You're Joel Embiid. Fourth yeah. quarter, you're grabbing your knees, pulling Had your shorts. No legs underneath us. So yep. you know we'll play our way into shape. That's yep. it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, later on today, if you're watching on Thursday, which is, I think, the 3rd of March or 4th of March, whatever it is, you can vote in the fan poll. It's in the description below. Uh, also on BarstoSports.com, at the Dozen Trivia on Twitter Instagram. You can vote in the fan poll. Where do you have these teams ranked? Thanks, everyone, for watching. Good night. You said this one doesn't count, right? <laughs> Three in a row.